my family are a great influence, but obviously there are the external influences when you see people that have achieved much, when you come across people that have, you know, changed the world. World changers are people that inspire me. World changers are, are the people that, you know, they don't always get the credit straight away, but actually, when you look back at what they've done, you think, wow, they made a difference. Do you understand what I mean? Um, different movements have made a difference, and that's why, you know, I think being, being the MP for this area, this area has such a proud tradition of people that have gone before me that have made a difference. You know, Battersea elected its first black mayor in, in, in John Archer back, you know, that was, that's a big thing. Do you understand? You know, Shakraji Saklat, let me say his name right, Shakraji Saklat Fama was elected here in the, in the 1920s as the first Asian MP. You know, that's, that's no, nothing to kind of, you know, not want to celebrate because these, these are huge achievements. We've had some amazing women like Charlotte Despard, who was a suffragette, and she stood to be an MP in this area as well. So I feel quite privileged to, to be um, the representative for this area because of the great people that have gone before me. And I have missed off a few names, but there are, there are others also. So it's world changers. Those people were world changers. And those are the people that have a great influence on you. I was recently in the States, and I was in D.C., and I was down at the um, Lincoln Memorial, and I stood on the steps where Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech. World changer, influencer, still has an impact on mine, and I'm sure on many people's lives because of what he did. And, you know, it was all selfless sacrifice, fighting for justice and equality. And actually, that is what most of us are trying to aspire to do and to achieve. You know, when I was 10, year, 10 years old, I received a book for a gift for my birthday about Nelson Mandela. I, you know, I didn't really understand all the issues around apartheid and I read this book and it, the injustice that came through, you know, that's what opened my eyes to the apartheid system and the regime and the injustice of it. And then I began to follow that, his whole journey because he was obviously still incarcerated at that time when I got the book. But it opened my eyes to the injustices that were taking place and asking, you know, why is this happening? And then being part of wanting to be part of that movement for change. Do you understand? Again, a man who was a world changer was released from prison and then achieved the highest office that he could. That's sometimes, you know, that's something that you have to look at all and say how amazing that is. You've got to lean into these things because he also taught us about forgiveness. Because I don't know about you, but if I was locked up for nearly 30 years, I'm not sure I'd want to be coming out and wanting to be forgiving people. The anger that there must have been, but if you, have you ever read his book, Long Walk to Freedom? I recommend it to anybody. It might be a long book, but read that book because you learn so much about forgiveness and you learn so much about how you can actually move forward and letting go of all the dead weight to actually achieve your goals. Yeah, it's incredible. So, so did you ever come into close contact with him or have you been to his exhibition? Oh, I've been to, oh, I've been to many an exhibition. I remember when he, this is so funny, I remember when he came to Brixton, when he first got, you know, first came over to, to London and he came to Brixton and I remember going down Thousands of people were there, and I just all I wanted to do was just maybe just you know try and meet him. Obviously, I didn't get to meet him, but I was in his presence, right? And so that was uh, good enough. And obviously, you know, I, I just commend those that fought to get his um, statue in Parliament Square because you know to have Nelson Mandela there is, is a huge, huge thing for me because you know the anti-apartheid movement here in the UK was big. Do you know, there were some great heroes from, from, from that period as well who, who really tried to, who fought for his, um, who fought for him to be freed from prison, but also, you know, stood up and were the voice for the voiceless.